Hello and a very warm welcome to Evolving Consciousness. If you are visiting this channel for the very first time, this channel, our main focus is holistic growth, personal development. And the purpose of this channel is to spread positivity in your life and also to help you, facilitate you to become a better version of yourself. We have been discussing from the we have been discussing about leading without a title and if you haven't watched the first two, first two videos in the series i would highly recommend you to watch that this teachings these learnings i'm deriving from this phenomenal book called the leader who had no title by robin sharma if you haven't gone through this book i would highly recommend you to purchase it and start reading it because the concepts which have been discussed in these books are timeless and if you are looking out for the next book which can ramp up your game in life, this is one of the highly recommended books. Coming to the topic, the central focus of this video, the third leadership conversations. The third central theme of leading without a title philosophy is the deeper your relationships, the stronger the leader you are. Now, relationships is a very misused word in today's times. When we talk about relationships, people have a fractured understanding of what relationships mean. They think the greater the network, the, num the greater the number of people they know, the powerful their relationship. But that is a very superficial understanding of relationships. It doesn't talk about the quantity, it talks about the quality. Because let's remember, if you have a lot of relationships, but those people who you seemingly look very friendly towards in front of them, if you have the nature of backbiting about the same individuals who you claim to have a good relationship with, that is not a deep relationship. That is in fact a shallow relationship. And it is better to not have such relationships than to have them. And one beautiful aspect about relationships are it's not only about the outside world. It's not only about human beings with whom you have a relationship. All relationships, the source of all relationships and the quality of all relationship boils down to the quality of relationship you have with your own self. What is the relationship you have with your own self? When people talk about self-love, they have a very fractured and a crippled understanding of self-love. They think self-love is all about pampering yourself, engaging in sensual pleasures and having a good time self-love. But that's not self-love. Self-love is having this profound understanding and a deep wisdom that self-love actually equates to self-discipline. Because let's remember, if you want to progress in any dimension of life, self-discipline is an indispensable quality. Are you? evolving yourself into a better version in every dimension of your life. If yes, you are practicing self-love. If not, if you are doing things which are not conducive to your overall well-being, then you are not in self-love. Though you might think, you might feel good about it, that you are engaging in self-love, but that's not self-love. Because essentially, what you are doing is you are engaging in short-term pleasures to distract your mind and I heard a beautiful uh, distinction between what is good and what is bad from a renowned guru. He said that things which give you short term pleasure but are not good for you in the long term, they are not good for you. And things which give you short term pain but have the potential to give, to deliver overall well being to you. Those are the activities we need to engage in. One simple ex example for this is exercise. When you initiate the action of exercising, you feel tremendous pain. That's not a pleasurable activity for someone who's not accustomed to exercise. But when you engage in exercise, that short-term pain gives you the long-term health, the well-being which, which, which it offers to your body. That is the product. That is a good activity. That is something which is contributing to your health. So that is about self-love. So this video is not about self-love. We'll make a full blown out video on self-love. But I just wanted to clear that understanding of what people have self-love to be, right? They have a very misconstrued understanding of self-love. 
And if you want to understand what self love, I will highly recommend you watch a video in YouTube by Sandeep Meshwari, where he beautifully, when he beautifully explains what true self love means. Coming back to the focus of this video, in this video we are talking about the central theme, the third leadership conversation. The deeper your relationship, the stronger the leader you are. The acronym which best describes the central theme is human. Wherein each letter of this acronym will give you a particular central key message, which, if you install in your habits, if you install in your belief systems, will tell, will help you deliver results. Will help you better live this concept. Now, in human, the first letter H stands for being helpful. Sounds simple, right? Sounds common sense, right? But as they say, common sense is not so common these days. Being outrageously helpful is such a rare quality that you might be amazed by it. People consider a job just as a job. If there are customers who are habitually coming to a restaurant, the people of the restaurant start to take them for granted. They don't outrageously deliver their services. in such a way that they used to do when the the customer first visited their restaurant but people who are outrageously helpful people who are outrageously willing to contribute to the person that particular aspect deepens the relationships because people always appreciate having a relationship with a person who is genuinely helpful not a people not a person who has some dubious intentions who is looking for a business transaction that if you do like this i will do that that is a natural outcome but essentially being genuinely helpful in a world which is so self centric so self obsessed that even help is thought about as an exchange of something which they can get from the other person so if you really want to deepen your relationships have this sense of unconditional helpfulness because if you have this tendency of helping others people are able to sense that and without you being asking for it things automatically come to you things automatically flow to you that is the quality of being genuinely helpful when you under promise and over deliver be it in your work dimension be it in your relationships you are your respect in the eyes of the other person grows and that would be a foundation of a very strong relationship it is a extremely deep relationship that is basically the message of the h in the human acronym helpfulness coming to the u of the human acronym u stands for understanding understanding the other person now you cannot understand the other person unless you have this quality of deep listening you might think most of us propagate listening to be a soft skill but i completely disagree with that listening is not a soft skill listening is extremely and excruciatingly hard how many of us in this world are willing to hear the other person without rehearsing our replies mentally without being defensive about the other person's point of view rare right it's extremely rare that is what the hallmark of leadership is leadership always demands great rareness when you are able to genuinely hear to such a intense level of concentration that you can you can almost hear the silence between the words of the other person you are not hearing to judge them to evaluate them to re- to reply to them but you are hearing with a with a sense of commitment that you want to step into the other person's shoes and understand the world view from his eyes how many of us can genuinely do that not many right and not many can practice this lead without a type of philosophy that's why deep listening is a very rare quality and if you look at the legends if you look at the leaders who have made stellar progress in their life those people are deep listeners 
and once you practice this quality of deep listening you will be absolutely amazed by the way your relationships will improve because people the deepest desire for any human being is the desire to be heard and once that person drops all his defenses the guards and he sees a person is genuinely hearing him without any defenses without any judgments without any attacks that person completely drops his defenses and tries to completely open up things about him and that is the beginning of deepening your relationships you understanding understanding the other person's point of view is an absolute rare quality and if you think about it why don't we like to listen right because we have a completely misconstrued understanding of leadership which says the louder your voice the more you talk the more right you are but that's a lunatic way of approaching life isn't it you don't have to be loud to be right and one important feature which i have noticed people who have a very overblown overblown sense of ego they also tend to listen less and speak more now one funny thing about ego right most people think that people who have a lot of materialistic achievements people who are very materially successful as per the norms of society usually tend to have a huge ego but that's not really the case i know people who haven't done much in their life right as per the materialistic norms of society but they have such a overblown sense of ego that they, it almost feels like you're talking to the ambanis ego has nothing to do with your material achievements you might be the richest man in the town but you might be the most humble person and you might be you might be the most poor person in a slum but you might be having you might be having an overblown sense of ego because when our egos are blown up we tend to shut down what the other person is saying and only try to express what we want to tell because we are completely shut down to the other person's possibilities we are so preconceived we are so prejudiced to hear the other person we cannot give him the opportunity to even hear because we are constantly rehearsing our replies we are constantly caught in the cobwebs of our own thoughts hence deep listening might be a very simple and a known quality but it's a rare quality and once you endeavor in this journey of becoming a leader without a title deep listening is one quality one needs to develop if he is interested in deepening his relationships not having thousand shallow relationships but if you want to have quality relationships you need to have the skill of deep listening coming to the m of the acronym human m stands for mingle now what does mingle mean right now it is beautifully said that you are an average of the three people you surround yourself with so it is extremely important that you become you become mindful of the kind of people you associate with in the shrimad bhagavatam it is said that in kali yuga no matter how much may you meditate no matter how much spiritual austerities you engage in unless your association is purified you won't be able to progress in spirituality right so we need to be extremely clear as to what we want from life if there are certain materialistic goals which we want to achieve mingle with folks who have already achieved that if we are if there are some spiritual qualities which we want to engross our consciousnesses associate with people who have already done that now it can so happen that not everyone is so privileged to get such people right it is a very practical problem then how do we go about it we can always engage yourselves in books of phenomenal legends right books are easily available for everyone and essentially when you are reading a particular book of an author what you are doing is not just reading the book you are having a conversation with that author you are allowing those concepts to instill into your own consciousness and that author is talking to you one on one without him being knowing who you are right so what is happening here 
the more conversations you have with that person the more you become like him you can read books which inspire you you can read books of role models like swami vivekananda are not necessarily spiritual people you can also read books of people who have achieved excellence in their material dimension because the more you mingle your more you associate with folks who have achieved something phenomenal in their life their mindsets are also unconsciously programmed into you because let's remember association is contagious if you are associating with people who completely are negative who like to crib about things happening in the past if you are associated with people who are directionless in their life their mental infection will also infect you so it's very essential that we mingle with the right crowd we associate with the right people hence leading without a title deepening your relationships is important but we also need to be mindful about who or what those quality of relationship is bringing to the table that is the m of mingle coming to a amuse now what happens is when we are in this road of personal development and personal mastery there comes a time there comes a settled moment in our life when our ego tends to you know make us feel that we are a mark above and we tend to become true very serious about life but that's not the way you need to approach life as the saying goes the person who takes himself too seriously life doesn't take him seriously so we need to be light about life and if you look at lord krishna the personification of divine he is considered purna purushottam ram is considered maryada purushottam but lord krishna is called a purna avatar he is called leela purushottam and do you know why he is called purna avatar because he was the manifestation of perfection he went through hell of tragedies in his life but he was always playful he was always with a smile on his face a blissful smile on his face he did not harbor animosity or resentment towards the most envious of his enemies sure he was divine he was god himself but he taught us lessons his entire life was an embodiment of how human beings need to conduct themselves sure we learn about leadership sure we need to commit to personal mastery but we should not stop having fun in the process because we are human beings right we are not human robots so never think that when you are amusing or having a big laugh that you are wasting your time that's not the right way to approach leadership and personal mastery you need to have fun but also be committed to your personal mastery goals there is a fine line of balance which you need to draw between both of them have fun in the process because going to leadership can be very exhausting if you are not having fun during the process and sooner or later you are going to get drained down because since you didn't enjoy the process of personal mastery and you were just doing it for the sake of doing it and you didn't enjoy it there'll come a point in life wherein you will give give it up because you will feel that uh, what did i get by doing all this because i didn't have fun during the process so let's remember lord shri krishna let's remember the highest spiritual being who has who has ever placed who has ever graced this planet let's look at his life how playful he was how amusing he was now coming to the last dimension of this acronym human n stands for nurture now if you observe nature right nature has so many untold lessons to give to humanity if you have the right eye to observe nature you will know a lot of things about life you will understand a lot of things about life for any relationship we need to always nurture it we need to give it time most of us are so impatient when we are trying to build relationships it is like they we want results very quickly right 
but if you even grow a plant right or if you if you plant a mango seed it takes years together for it to completely manifest into a mango tree and for it to give fruits and if you are going to be impatient that i'm giving water i'm manuring it and allowing the right sunlight but i'm still not getting the results that is a hallmark of foolishness relationships require time require patience require a sense of nurturing so if you really genuinely want to deepen a relationship this mindset this lesson which nature is giving us about growth about growing things you can learn from it instead of becoming impatient instead of instead of be becoming very agitated right things are not happening the way i wanted it's not working you need to think about what's not working is the manual right is the watering right is the sunlight right is the time have you given enough time for that seed to germinate for the relationship to germinate these questions need to be pondered upon hence nurturing is extremely important for deepening our relationships and one aspect which i sort of left about about amuse right people love people who can spread a smile who are funny so it's very important to not be too serious when you are in this path of personal mastery and you are endeavoring in your personal mastery journey hope this third leadership conversation gave some value to you and if you really like this content right if you love the the kind quality and content of this particular video do sh- like share and subscribe to this channel and give a pat on your back because you are amongst the trade individuals who is in this path of personal mastery you genuinely love yourself that's why you are watching content which elevates your soul which inspires your soul to become a better version so congratulations if you have been in this video till so far you truly are a rare soul in this world i really honor and respect your time for staying long for such a long time in this video hope you had hope you got some immense value out of this video and don't forget to share this video to three close friends of yours thank you and we have one last leadership conversation which sort of summarizes the entire lead without a title philosophy series which we have been talking about we we'll meet you in the next video and the next video is going to be an amazing video so stay tuned for that thank you and meet you in the next video bye